day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Grace and peace be multiplied. Today we want to look at John, the writer of St. John. First, a second and third John and the book of Revelation. As we look at St. John chapter 20, verse 2, 30 and 31, John tells us the old purpose why he wrote the book. He wrote it that others would believe and come to place their faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. We know John as he is called the beloved disciple. He's an apostle and the brother of James. St. Matthew chapter 421. He was uh, present with James and with Peter on many occasions with Jesus. St. Mark 5 verse uh, 37, 9 verse 2 and 14 verse uh, 33. We find him being a little intolerant sometimes. St. Mark 9 33, Luke 9 49 through 56. He helped, we will see in the scriptures, to prepare the supper in St. Luke 22, verse 8 through 13. He was present right there at Jesus' trial. John 18, 15 and verse 16. John 19, 26 and 27. He was at the tomb. St. John 20, verse 2 to verse 8. On other occasions, we saw him present to St. John 21, when Jesus had that miracle in St. John 21, but a private one, where his disciples were alone. He received the baptism of the Holy Spirit in Acts 1, verse, sorry, Acts 1, verse 13 all the way to chapter 2 verse 11 we also see him he was entrusted with mary the mother of jesus while jesus was on the cross he said to his mother woman behold your son and to john he says john behold your mother saint john 19:26 and John took Mary, the Bible says, to his house and he cared for her. As you know, uh, Jesus was Mary's eldest son. We didn't see Joseph mention that he was around. And so even though Jesus had other siblings, he said to the apostle, the one Oh, Jesus loved. That's how John referred to himself. Jesus gave him the responsibility, his own responsibility. He delegated to John. And John seized the opportunity to take care of Jesus' mother. We also see John was with Peter in the temple in Acts chapter 3. He was sent to Samaria to do missionary work in Acts 8 verse 14 through 17. He was a pillar in the church, Galatians 2, 9. He's supposed to have died a natural death at the age of 100 years old, Revelation 1 and verse 9. But we also know this is the same John, the apostle, who was cast on the Isle of Patmos in the book of of revelation so as we say john had a purpose for writing his book and so he tells us the purpose that while the synoptic gospel meaning matthew mark and luke call the synoptic gospel because their views are similar. 
So while we have the synoptic gospel, which is Matthew, Mark, and Luke, they they focus on the historic facts of Jesus' life. John now interprets those facts to show that Jesus was indeed the Messiah, the Son of God. John shows that he was a savior of the world. He sought to instill faith in his readers. And we can see even in 1 John, 2 John, 3 John is what he wrote. His epistles were written to confirm the believers in the faith. 1 John 5 and verse 13. In the book of Revelation, we see John presenting the Messiah or the ministry of Jesus Christ as the exalted one from heaven. John's gospel represents the ministry of Jesus of Nazareth on earth in the book of St. John. We also see from John's writing that his book is unique in its features. While omitting many of the miracles reported in the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, John chose seven miracles, apparently to help to show that Jesus is the Messiah. Seven public ones, and as we say in St. John chapter 21 in the post-resurrection events, there is another one with Jesus and his disciples on the seashore. But the seven he chose was one changing water to wine in St. John 2 verse 1 through 11. He also has the healing of the nobleman's son in chapter 4 verse 46 through verse 54. Number three, he had the layman at Bethesda in chapter 5, verse 1 through 18. Uh, four, he has the, feed, the feeding of the 5,000 men. Um, chapter 6, verse 5 through 14. Uh, then he has Jesus walking on the water. Chapter 6, verse 16 through 21. He has the healing of the blind man who was born blind from birth. In John 9, 1 through 7, he has the raising of Lazarus in chapter 11, verse 1 through 45. So we see that he recorded uh, these miracles to bear witness of Jesus' messiahship. We look at what John recorded. And we also see that he recorded the seven I am's. That says, I am the bread of life in chapter 6, verse 35. I am the light of the world in chapter 8 and verse 12. I am the door in St. John 10, verse 7. I am the good shepherd, St. John 10, 12 through 14. I am the resurrection and the life, John 11, 25. I am the way, I am truth, and I am life, St. John 14, verse 6, and in chapter 15 and verse 1, he tells us that Jesus is divine. So here we see in comparing um, the book of John to the synoptics, which is Matthew, Mark, and Luke, only a few events are common. All the other events are peculiar to John. John and the synoptics, which is Matthew, Mark, and Luke, supplement each other concerning the events about Jesus Christ, his life, and his ministry. 
if we had only the synaptics we would know nothing of the washing of the feet if we had only john we would know nothing of the institution of the lord's supper saint matthew 26 um, verse 26 through verse 30. so all together the four gospels matthew mark luke john give us a well rounded out conception of jesus christ as the ideal king as the, the ideal servant as the ideal man and as the ideal god so let us uh, study this book together about the life and the ministry of our lord and savior jesus christ we will see prophecies that are fulfilled we will see prophecies that are yet unfulfilled but it's a wonderful journey and we will all take it together god bless you thank you again for watching please subscribe it is free like share also comment and please continue to visit my youtube channel daily med with lady v